I would like to start with the um, idea of coding in the first place. Literally, you cannot find any industrial materials or any part that we are using in industry without protection. By protection, I mean that the surface of the materials needs to be protected against uh, the erosion, corrosion, or any damage that can uh, happen to those materials. For this reason, we need to put a uh, coating on the surface of everything. This coating can be a very simple paint that we put on the walls, on the cars, on uh, every uh, civil structures, or what we call it like uh, more advanced coatings, such as thermal spraying coatings. When we deposit hard materials, like metals and ceramics uh, on the surface of the other material, industrial components and tools to protect them, increase their life uh, service and um, make them more efficient and effective. Uh, for this reason, uh, we need to melt those materials and um, then spray them on the surface of the components. Uh, which this technology is called thermal spraying. Thermal spraying is a general term for a family of deposition techniques that in that technology, uh, the main idea is melting materials and carrying them toward a target. Uh, thermal spraying technologies include plasma spraying, uh, high velocity oxygen fuel technique, uh, wire arc spraying, cold spraying, detonation gun, and um, they can be classified somehow based on the type of source of energy they use for melting process uh, or by uh, other uh, classifications that we can have for, for uh, thermal spraying technologies. I cannot precisely tell you that who invented the idea of thermal spraying. Uh, generally, it goes to the uh, each technology and where they started to work or where they are invented and, and work. It goes back to more than 60, 70 years ago when people try to uh, start putting a hard layer of materials on the surface of the another more important component and tools. But I can say that the, uh, for one of the technologies which is uh, very commonly used in, in many industries, which is called cold spraying, it is invented in Russia about 60 years ago. And um, Russian were uh, the people who invented uh, the technology of um, uh, spraying solid particles in their solid condition uh, and uh, try to build a layer of deposition on surface of another material just basically based on the deformation of those solid particles and mechanical interlock between those uh, deformed particles which ended up with, with very high quality during the time um, um, coating that, that uh, was processed and built. It can be um, uh, performed in two different uh, pr uh, modes, which is low pressure and high pressure, uh, and uh, is one of the um, technologies that, for example, aerospace companies are using a lot for uh, applying some, some uh, protection uh, coating layer on their components. The position of coating in thermal spraying technologies, regardless of the technologies and with exception of cold spraying technique, is a build-up process. And this build-up process starts with feeding the powders or in form of wires to a high temperature condition to melt them. This high temperature could be basically by burning fuels with, with uh, combination with oxygen or uh, plasma assisted uh, uh, high temperature condition. Anyways, those 
powders will be melted then you need to have a, like a pressurized gas from behind to um, force them and accelerate those molten particles toward a target which is called uh, substrate and uh, those molten particles will move uh, and travel from the gun toward the uh, substrate upon when they reach the substrate with high velocity they impact on the surface and they are in molten condition they hit a hard surface they start to flatten and when they flatten and they spread then they start to solidify the entire process takes in microseconds it's not a very lengthy process for each particle uh, it's a start from powder we melted them it travels hits the surface of the uh, target uh, we call it at this point splat and those splat flatten and solidify the next round of those splats will hit the surface of the previous one and in this way we build up a layer of deposition or layer of coating by um, um, spraying thousands of those splats on top of each other there are two important factors here one is the adhesion between the first layer of those splats with the target with substrate and the second one is the adhesion between uh, the the next uh, splats that are hitting on the surface of the first one and second one and how good they are connected and attached together in this process the important thing is the bonding between those splats generally we will have two type of bondings one would be because of the high speed and high velocity of those accelerated uh, splats or molten particles uh, which is called mechanical bonding the second one would be uh, a type of bonding which we call it metallurgical bonding or some people call it chemical bonding when those molten particles hit on top of each other and there might be some some uh, chemical reaction or diffusion between the atoms during the solidification a process which can make a bonding between those particles thermal spraying has been commercialized and uh, commonly used and adopted by industries for more about for 40 to 50 years and um, industries are uh, benefited from uh, this technology to uh, provide a better protection for the surface of engineering materials uh, during um, uh, the, uh, the service life uh, this method has uh, lots of advantages to other uh, coating uh, techniques one of them is that um, if for example if you want to compare it to the uh, paint or other kind of polymer based coatings uh, that we call them soft coating uh, this hard coating it's stronger it can work better for uh, against um, erosion or any damage uh, in, in materials consider the uh, chipping on the uh, cars that sometimes some heat uh, some hard material hits the surface of the uh, hood or uh, or body of the cars if it hits a uh, resin or a uh, polymeric materials it will break it and it will go to the body of the material and that could be a point for the future corrosion and rust building on the body of the material but if you have a layer of hard material there that chipping won't happen and material would be protected very well However, there are some disadvantages compared to the uh, traditionally uh, known kind of uh, coatings because we, this process involves um, melting of high temperature materials and uh, sending them toward a, a target, a substrate. Uh, definitely, it will have its own uh, problem for, and disadvantages in this area, but Thermal spring is a rapid, fast method of 
um, uh, protecting surface of material with stronger uh, coating. One of the challenges in the area of uh, thermal spraying is making it more easier and user friendly. Again, uh, we are talking about melting uh, materials at um, thousands of degrees of centigrade. That's why we have to find to make it easier to apply and uh, make it uh, and the materials that can be deposited using this technique we need to find new ones and and or make new technologies that are capable of deposition of uh, advanced materials um, the other tech uh, challenges is that the, this is a line of sight technique because we have a gun we have a nozzle that is going to move and deposit the coating on the surface of the material. Everywhere it sees, it can spray. Now, if we can do some, uh, make it easier or make it um, simpler to deposit on, on uh, hard to reach co uh, points of the, uh, or corners of the materials, it, it will be so some of the things that can be used for future and can be the advancement in this technology.